Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a superhero movie review and I'll be having a look at Black Scorpion 2 Aftershock. So obviously the sequel to the original Black Scorpion movie and features Joan Severance as the title character Black Scorpion and her alter ego Darcy Walker. And she's a policewoman during the day and by night or whenever crime rears his ugly head she turns into the costume vigilante the black scorpion now if you've not seen the original film she's kind of a cross between batman and catwoman ultimately with a kind of a dominatrix type feel to her now as with the the first film this film is a kind of a, a bit of a weird mix between a couple of adult themes and a little bit of nudity in this film like the first film although not joan severance this time and just one really sort of gore shot. The tone of this film is probably even sillier than the first film. It's almost, it, this very much is like the, the kind of the Batman 60s show. And the director here is, is obviously having a wild hard time in the camera as you get really sort of crazy sort of zoom shots and sort of funny camera angles and speed up bits. Very much like the sort of the, uh, the Batman 60s show. I was almost expecting Biff and Powell to kind of pop up here and there. The story really has got two supervillains this time, uh, Aftershock, who is, I guess, the main villain, and she's a kind of um, a, a good scientist at the sort of beginning who, who, through a kind of accident, becomes the, the kind of evil Aftershock, who basically is a, a kind of, again, a kind of costumed villainess with sort of earthquake powers. She joins forces with a Joker ripoff called Gangster Prankster and his uh, small gang of idiot goons. As I say, the style of this film is is a kind of a bit more silly than the first film, and it's it's some of the sort of the lines in here and the the costumes and stuff are very very garish, and the color the color palette is very sort of bright colors and things like that. It's possibly a little bit more ambitious in regards to its scale than the first film. The tone of this film is even more less serious than the first film. The jokes get a little bit grating, I have to say. I still think the best thing in this film is Joan Severance as as the Black Scorpion. I mean, she, I think she's uh, she's around six foot, so she makes a good sort of superhero. And you know, you may have seen her in in Playboy. She's been in Playboy or Penthouse or something like that. So she's a very sort of statuesque woman, and you know, she's a she isn't a bad actor to be fair. But obviously, this this film is not going to be any sort of uh, real stretch or any acting ability. Now, this uh, this movie was wasn't followed by a third film, but it was followed by a TV series, which I'll be having a look at at some point in the future. But it didn't star Joan Terrence, it starred uh, another woman basically playing the uh, the Black Scorpion part. This film is is very, it is, is similar to the first film. So if you did like the first film, you're probably going to like this film. But personally, I didn't think it was quite as good. It was just a little bit too silly for me, I think. Um, there were some aspects. I thought the actual, the opening kind of chasing, they have a, a car chasing when we sort of first see the, the Black Scorpion in the costume, was actually pretty good. And the, the actual camera effects there looked quite good, I have to say. It almost came across as almost like a very much like the sort of Tim Burton Batman films in the Batmobile and stuff like that. The thing I didn't like about this film was the the relationship with her and her kind of uh, male partner, her, this other policeman, who just seems like, to be quite honest, a bit of an asshole. He seems to be the goal in her life, and he just comes across as, you know, a bit of a dick ultimately, and you you can't don't really understand why necessarily she'd be with him. But anyway. Uh, I'm going to give this film a 3.5 out of 10. I, it's not as good as the first one, even though that was no classic. But it's still a bit of fun if you do like a bit of a B-movie cheese fest. What did you think of it? What did you think of it compared to the first one? Leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.